I thought offensively we, you know, that's a good defense. So we, it was a, it was a, we got it was a tough start. Uh, that first half, running the ball, moving the ball. I think we had three or four three and outs. Uh, it was a tough start against a good defense. I think, uh, you know, our defense, our special teams kind of kept us in the game early. Uh, mustered a couple field goals, went into the halftime seven to six, and I thought they they fought and, and played played well. Had a good uh, drive and start the second half. Uh, Ryan led that, and then Josh came in and had a couple good good drives himself. Well, uh, you know, we were backed up on the on the on the one. You know, we, we were on the one yard line and. And we put together a nice drive there. Uh, I think uh, Josh made a couple plays with his feet, uh, kept a couple plays alive, made a couple good throws. Uh, you know, Laird, uh, I believe he had a run in there as well. Um, I think they, uh, you know, we had a good good drive there. Are you able to? Where, where do you stand in the here? I mean, it's still an evaluation. I think you know we saw a lot from both guys today. Uh, you know, Fitzy did a good job. Josh did a good job. You know, I think you know as the staff we'll get together, kind of really, really talk it over, and and we'll make a decision. You know, we'll make the decision we feel is best for the, for this organization, this team. When do you want to make this decision, Brian? Well, I mean, we've we've got look, uh, we're what two and a half weeks away from opening day. Uh, you know, we're gonna get we're gonna get started on Baltimore, um, you know, fairly soon, and uh, we'll, we'll make that decision. You know, hopefully. Well, definitely by then, by the time we get started for Baltimore. Coach, um, Bobby McCain got hurt in the, uh, in the first half. Yeah. What do you do in that back team in position? We got a hard pitch there. Yeah. Um, how do you kind of evaluate where you want to go and where you've got to move Bobby Carter? Right? Well, the next guy's got to, got to go in. And, and look, that happens in this league. Guys go down. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got a backup at every position. You know, somebody goes down, you know, Hardis is ready to go. I thought he went in there and played well. And uh, that's what we need at every position. You know, I think things happen. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a violent sport. You know, there's injuries, and uh, we need our backups to, to go in and play well. Brian, when you evaluate the, the quarterback situation, do you take into account who played against the starters and who played against the reserves, or is this just results-oriented from that standpoint? It's results on oriented always. It's a production business. You know, I don't care who we, you know who you're in there against. You go in there, you produce. That's what we see, um, and that's that's kind of how we evaluate it. Uh, but you know, we want to see good decision making really at all positions, but definitely the quarterback position. So if it's time to check it down, we check it down. We don't want to you know make throws in the traffic. You know, we got to have good good ball security. I thought from that standpoint we were we were good. Um, you know. So I think all of it goes into it. And, and Josh, has uh, he satisfied you as far as his decision making? Yeah, I thought he did a good job today. I really did. I really did. Did going up against that defense give you a good read on what you may have wanted to see from him in the first quarter? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, look, when you're up against a defense like that, you know, the, the big thing is ball security. Um, I think we did, you know, an, a good job from that standpoint. We didn't move the ball the way we w would have liked, but – you know, we didn't give them the ball either. Our defense played well. Their defense played well. Uh, we made a couple of plays in the kicking game. Look, it's a, it's, it's all three phases. You put them together, and you know, and when you get what we had out there tonight, um, which, you know, is the other units picking up for the offense, and then until the offense got rolling in the second half, and that's that's kind of way they get this game's played. Uh, so, I thought from that standpoint, you know, it was a it was a it was a good team effort. Coach, I just look back at the film, but what did you learn from the offense? I thought, look, that's a, it was a tough, yeah, we had a tough opponent this, this week. We're going to have a tough opponent every week in this league. Uh, but they battled. I thought they fought. Um, you know, we had a couple penalties there in the second half. And, uh, but I thought they battled. I did. I thought we were ready to go. I mean, I asked those guys, you know, for great effort, intensity. Um, and uh, they, they brought that. Do you foresee Fitz or Rosie playing uh, their next Thursday? Uh, that's something we'll dis we'll, we'll, we'll uh, discuss as a staff. Um, they may both play, you know. They may both play, so we'll see. You know, that's something that, you know, look, we're still evaluating both guys. 
if we feel like we need to, to, to see a little bit more, we'll, we'll do that. Um, if we don't, then you'll see more of one or the, one or the other. Coach, has Jerome Baker taken over the reins of this defense? Seems like he's pretty much in control out there. I think he's, he's made, he's made uh, a lot of progress over the course of training camp. He's a guy who's uh, taken on a leadership role. Um, I really uh, you know, appreciate and, uh, the work he's put in and uh, the leadership you know, role he's taken. And, uh, he's playing well too, so hopefully we continue that to continue, continue to progress. Brian, as far as the offensive line, is there still time to make changes among the starters, or at this point do you figure out strengths and weaknesses and kind of go in that direction? Uh, yeah, there's always time to make changes. Uh, that's always you know something we could do. Uh, I think the guys who are in there right now, I think uh, they've they've started to uh, the communications better with the group that's in there. Starting to understand how to play together, their strengths, their weaknesses, like you said, uh, and uh, I think they, they're uh, they've they started to gel a little bit. Hopefully, we continue to do that. Anything Josh do today make your decision harder? Uh, he played well, uh, and that makes the decision harder. I mean, I think that's pretty clear, clear and evident. Uh, but there's again, there's there's other things at play here. Um, you know, Fitz played well. I thought. And, you know, there's some things, you know, when you got a young quarterback, um, you know, again, I'm a, I'm a proponent of not rushing that, not rushing the process, you know, for young players. Uh, so, I mean, we'll make, we'll make the decision we think is best for, for Josh, Fitz, and this team. More guys. Rowe had an interception. Yeah. So that, yep. Uh, we're, uh, there's still competition all over this team. Um, he did have the PI. We wanted to turn and look in that situation. It's something we harp on and, and practice and talk about constantly. I uh, would have liked for him to uh, to make that, just turn and look and not get the PI penalty. You know, he came back and made an interception, which is good. Uh, that's the kind of the, the ebbs and flows of the game. And I think he does what he does a good job of never getting too high, never getting too low, just staying right, staying even. But you know, we would have liked to see him uh, turn and look for that ball. And there's another another one in the start of the second half that uh, I think he could have turned and looked and made a play on that one as well. Uh, but hey, it's a learning, it's an experience, and uh, you know, he'll probably get tested on that moving forward, and uh, hopefully, he learns from it. Yeah, I, I figured I would get this question. So, you know, after the playlist was done, um, what you guys don't know is, you know, I walked up to Kenny in front of the entire group and said, this is a challenge to you to get open, catch the football, and make plays for this team, regardless of what's going on outside of this building. Um, the next day, because you know, there was a lot more attention paid to this than I ever would have imagined. I got up in front of the team, and I told them that I support Kenny. I support Kenny. I support, uh, you know, pl the player protests. I mean, <laughs> quite honestly, they're, you know, they're, they're bringing attention to, to my story. So let's talk about that. Uh, I'm the son of immigrants. I'm black. I grew up poor. Uh, I grew up in New York during the, the, the stop and frisk era. So I've been stopped uh, because I fit a description before. So everything that these guys protest, uh, I've lived it. I've experienced it. So yeah, I applaud, the, I applaud, I applaud every, uh, those guys who protest. So whether it's Kaepernick or Eric Reed or, or Kenny, I applaud those guys. And I told, I told the, the uh, Kenny that in our meeting in front of the entire team. So that's where I stand on this thing. And I think it, it, I think it got, you know, this <laughs> got way more pressed than it needed to. Uh, and I'm trying to challenge one of my players. I'm going to do that how I, I see fit. Uh, and look, what these guys protest about is important. I lived it. I, was, I, I experienced it. I don't know how many people have, but I lived it. So I understand why, why, why guys protest. Um, and it's important, but you know what else is important to me? 
the guys performed. Like, there's 89 guys in that locker room who are counting on Kenny to get open, catch the football, and, 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 uh, and perform for this team. And that's, that's important to me. And if anybody's got a problem with that, then we just got a problem. We're going to agree to disagree. And I feel like that's important, and I'm, that's, that's where I stand on this thing. Uh, and whatever scrutiny or media, whatever I get, you know, then that's what I get. I believe, I, and, and that's it. I look <laughs> the play approach. I lived it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, what, what uh, I don't know how many people in here have, you know, but I lived it. So that's where I'm at on the uh, on that. It was a challenge to Kenny to perform regardless of the, whatever's going on outside. And you know, I would say, you know, I've said this to him. He hasn't performed up to that level over the course of this training camp as as, as I've seen him. So that was the challenge. Why do I stand? I stand because I want to stand. Uh, I feel like it's important to stand. I do. I feel like it's important to stand. I feel like it's, you know, you know I don't know what you want me to say on this. I think it's important to stand. When I had the meeting with Kenny? Talk to him right on the field. On Tuesday, or Tuesday, sorry. Uh, I talked to him on the field. Well, you guys weren't there. I talked to him on the field and issued the challenge to, to hey, let's let's get up here. Let's 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 make let's make some plays regardless of what's going on. And then I talked to him after practice. Okay. 